I graduated in statistics about five months ago. Do I regret it? No. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Now I'm a data analyst, and I really don't use a lot of the concepts that I learned in statistics, like regression, experimental design, time series analysis, hypothesis testing. I don't really use any of that. None of them enter my daily workflow. I don't deal with them on a daily basis. However, these classes and techniques did prepare me and teach me more about becoming a data analyst than any other skill that I picked up along the way. And by skills, I mean things like SQL, R, Python, Tableau. Those are all things that I kind of picked up in statistics. Some of it I picked up on the job after I graduated. However, those aren't the most important skills to becoming a data analyst. Sure, those are important and you need to know them, but they aren't the most important. And why do I say that? Because if you don't know how to think like a data analyst, then you're not going to be a good one. But what do I mean by thinking like a data analyst? Well, here, I'll list out some of the most important things that I think being a data analyst is all about. Understanding outliers, understanding tidy data, data manipulation, probability, and a lot of other skills that I picked up during my statistics degree. Now, sure, I could have majored in something like MIS or IT and picked up those hard skills that I was talking about earlier, like SQL or R. And yes, those are must-haves, but those soft skills and those other skills that I was talking about in understanding data, much, much more important and vital. Oh, and real quick, if you haven't already, go check the links in the description. There's two of them. One's for my Discord where we chat about statistics and data analytics all the time. And check out my newsletter where I talk more about becoming a data analyst. The second thing that I appreciate about majoring in statistics is that I could understand the world through reasoning. Now, anytime the news comes on and they're talking about a new study that came out, where they observe that people that live in this part of the country or this particular demographic commits more crimes or commits more murders, I can understand the truth behind what they're saying and what is actually just a misrepresentation of the data that they're looking at. So now I can look through something like a medical study, and I might not understand the medical portion of the, of the design of the study, but I can understand the statistical reasoning that they used, why they did what they did, and if it was a valid way to do that study. The next thing that statistics helped me understand is understanding risk. Now, not only when it comes to things like investing, but looking at Every decision that you make and understanding the risks associated with it, the probabilities of success and failure, and what that ultimately means as an outcome. So with all that being said, no, I don't regret it. Watch this video next if you want to see more about majoring in statistics.